I'm dry as fuck. I just took a shower right now. I basically just want to talk to y'all a little bit about my relationship with weed and how I'm gonna just handle it for myself going forward with my life. Alright, so anyways, pretty much, like, I started smoking weed when I was like, I think I was a cool 14? Yeah, 14. I never smoked at all, smoked weed, until I got to high school freshman year, because it was accessible, you know, all the little, the little kids, the little, they were little kids, all the little kids, you know, everybody want to slang, everybody want to sell weed, so I, was, I think I bought my first... I think I literally bought a gram of weed, like a gram of weed, like a little baggie and it's just a nug. But that gram had me high for days, like days. Anyways, so I started smoking weed when I was 14. Fast forward, I'm 22 now. And I feel like I need some change because smoking weed essentially is a habit that I developed when I was a kid. So it's like, I don't know if it's serving me in the same way anymore because I'm not a kid anymore and I have different goals to achieve. Back then, I feel like I smoked to like, just feel comfort. Like, I remember I would be having rough ass days and I would smoke before school and then I would be able to go to school and you know, do what I have to do. But it's like, I was smoking to cover something else. I was smoking to feel okay. I was smoking to, you know, fit in with the crowd. Everybody else, we all kicking it, let's all smoke. So I would smoke too. So I think that the, like the reasons as to why I developed that habit aren't, that productive and beneficial i didn't start smoking weed to be more productive i didn't start smoking weed to be my best self i that's not you feel what i'm saying so i feel like personally i need to kind of cut that shit. um i've cut it out before i think it was last year where i actually wasn't smoking for like months at a time and um i did very very well my youtube was booming that's when i was just most productive um, now I'm trying to like cut it out again, but now I'm like teeter tottering. I'm like, okay, I could smoke, but like only at night I can smoke. But in reality, it's like what I realized today, I literally just threw in my last joint I had. I was like, okay, if I can go all day without smoking, why even smoke then? You know what I'm saying? In the night, like if it's 11 PM and I haven't smoked all day and now I'm smoking just to say fuck it. Cause it's the nighttime, I don't even really need to, or want to smoke. So it's like. You know, I'm just giving myself excuses, making excuses to like smoke, but I don't need to. And second of all, it doesn't really do anything for me anymore. Like, it really doesn't like, sm I can't, I don't smoke to eat. I used to, I would smoke to be like, oh, I wanna, I wanna smack this food, I'm, let me smoke to eat. Now it's like, if I wanna eat a fat ass meal, I'ma eat the fat ass meal and I don't need to be high. If I wanna, you feel what I'm saying? I don't need to be high to do anything. So. For me personally, I just need to start using weed as a crutch to like fill voids that I need to be filling with other things. Like if I wanna smoke, I should go for a run. If I wanna smoke, I should go work out in my backyard. If I wanna smoke, maybe I should like call a family member. If I wanna smoke, maybe I should do like, you know what I'm saying? Clean my fucking room, like some shit, go make myself some food. Like there's just a lot of things that I could be doing instead of smoking weed. And I feel like at this point, like where I'm trying to grow, where I'm trying to grow, period. Where I'm trying to grow, the places I'm trying to grow, like I just can't be giving my time to things that aren't benefiting me. Like I'm getting really meticulous about my time and y'all should too, shit. But like, you know, that like hour block of time that I can kick it with someone and smoke, I could be editing a video that I could post tomorrow and that video could get me where I need to go tomorrow. Do you know what I'm saying? Or I can be out working, making money, or I can be out reading, or you know, just things that actually will help me and make me feel like, I'm doing something with my life and make me want to wake up tomorrow and make me not want to fucking die every day. Like, that's what I am like so grateful for right now. This is beyond besides the point of weed, but like recently I've just been replacing a lot of bad habits with good habits and I've actually been excited to wake up. I haven't been excited to wake up in a long ass time. And I know that sounds kind of deep, but that is what it is. Like I have not been excited to get my ass up because I didn't really have anything to do that was meaningful. Like, okay, I'm gonna wake up and wash clothes okay like that's not motivate like it doesn't want to get me out the bed but now i'm like oh i'm gonna wake up i'm gonna make an acai bowl then i'm gonna go for a run then i'm gonna work out then i'm gonna go to the store then i'm gonna do this then i'm gonna do that then i'm gonna edit then i'm gonna make a video then i'm gonna you know what i'm saying this is an ace grid 
Oh, burn that bitch on Facebook that bitch on Facebook And also, this video is not to bash weed necessarily because, um, it's not to bash anything. I'm just giving y'all my experience with weed and I feel like I've outgrown it. We outgrow things sometimes. Um, I think I've outgrown weed. It doesn't really stir me at all no more. Um, that and I don't even be having money to pick it up. Like, I have money, but my money is going places like i'm meticulous about my energy my time my money all that shit like i'm trying to like i don't know if i posted a video i don't think i've shown it on my backyard gym but anyways i built a gym building a gym in my backyard and i'm dead ass about that shit so that's my goal to build a sick ass gym in my backyard so all my dollars are go essentially all my fucking dollars are going there to my gym so you know that little 25 that little 10 dollars even that i'm giving the weed it could be going here you see what I'm saying? Like, the gym is gonna boss me up. It's gonna give me more gains. Guess what, more gains. I feel like more of myself benefits, benefits. I buy weed instead. I'm high for that day. And that's that's it. Like, I, I just don't see a purpose in continuing this habit anymore. I have other habits I'm trying to throw in. So, you know what I'm saying? To build new habits, you gotta get rid of old ones. And it's like, like keeping weed in my life, I'm like, wanting a different result right i'm like oh i want to boss up oh i want to glow oh i want to do this but i'm keeping i'm doing the same things and expecting a different result so it's like if i want change i gotta make change and i've noticed that being uncomfortable is how i grow the fastest like i can't be doing things that just make me feel comfortable and weed honestly makes me feel comfortable you know like i would smoke and be like mm, like fuck everything i'm chilling now like i don't care about what i had to do Fuck it, I could do it tomorrow, I'm chilling now. That's how weed would like get me and that's not cool if I'm trying to grow and boss up and push myself and reach new heights, you feel me? Like that complacency is what kills dreams, kills goals, kills all drive is that complacency and I've noticed that. Like when I smoke and I'm smoking, I ain't even talking about smoking at night because the night thing is what least affected me because throughout the day I get everything I need to do done and then I smoke when I have nothing to do and I'm relaxing, right? But to be smoking in the middle of the day, like I wouldn't even, I didn't even edit the video, but I'm smoking. So I'm already telling my brain like, cause when you smoke, you get dopamine and dope like a reward. It's, the, it's a reward chemical. That's why smoking feels good. That's why drinking feels good. It releases a reward chemical, but I'm smoking, right? And I haven't even edited my video. Like let's say for example, I haven't even edited my video, but I smoke. So I'm telling my brain that, oh, we're done. Here's the reward. But I haven't even done what I have to do. Therefore, I'm gonna procrastinate on shit. I'm not gonna do it, you know? And like, people say, weed doesn't make you lazy. Weed can make you lazy depending on where you put it. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't, I think we think of lazy as like, someone that's just on the couch, doing, not doing shit. When I say lazy, I mean like, I knew that I needed, for me to be my best self and boss up, I know that I needed to edit that video today and I'm pushing it off. Like that is not blatantly laziness, but the procrastination, the procrastination, the procrastination, that is laziness. I don't even wanna say laziness, but just pushing shit off, bro. That is what I've experienced with weed. Like telling myself, oh, I was supposed to do it today. Fuck you. But like now, bro, you know, I, I tell myself shit. I'm like, hey, like this is honestly how I built my confidence also. Fucking, this is just a rant at this point, but this is how I've been building my confidence back up and just, you know, getting better mentally. Um, if I tell myself I'm gonna go for a run, I don't give a fuck what I have to do, when I, ha when I have to do it. That day, I'm gonna go for a fucking run. And excuse my language, but I'm gonna go for that run. That's how dead ass I am. I've been lately and it's paid off. If I tell myself, we're gonna make this, we're gonna go to the store, we're gonna get vegetables, we're gonna cook. I'm going to the fucking store, getting the vegetables and then cooking. Unless I find vegetables in my fridge and I'm not gonna go. But you feel what I'm saying? If I tell myself, I'm gonna edit this video. Guess what? I'm gonna get in front of my laptop and edit the video. Now, what I've also learned with myself though is grace. Just because I say I wanna make a song today doesn't mean I need to finish the entire song today. You feel what I'm saying? But I do need to make a step and attempt to. If I don't, you know, tomorrow is, there's, there's tomorrow, but it's the fact that I showed up. You feel what I'm saying? Cause that shit happens to me. I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna edit a whole video today. And I don't edit the whole video. Do you know what I'm saying? But then again, fuck this, cap, that's cap, that's cap. Just do what you tell yourself you're gonna do cause it helps. Like if I say I'm gonna wash my, wash my house. If I say I'm gonna wash my car, then I better wash my car, you feel me? Like obviously life happens and you have to like push things off and you know what I'm saying? But it can't be deliberately pushing it off. 
Because that shit will fucking lower your confidence. Like, if you tell yourself that you're going to start, you're going to make a YouTube video today and you don't, you're going to feel like shit tomorrow. You, like, I feel like, I when I do that, I feel like shit. I tell myself I'm going to make a video when I don't, then I don't even, now now I've fallen off the wagon. I don't even want to make videos at all. I tell myself I'm going to work out when I don't. Well, I have, well, guess what? I'm not working out for a week now because, do you feel what I'm saying? Like, that shit just throws you off. But even if you don't feel like making that video, working out, and you do, Ooh, the self-confidence that comes from that, bro. Like, oh, I've been doing that recently. Like, yesterday, I told myself, I think two days ago, I said, oh, um, I'm going to go do rack pulls outside. Like, basically, which is like a deadlift, but with no legs. You just rack pull it and just pull it. Anyways, I said I was going to do rack pulls. It was like 12 a.m. I was tired. I was like, I'm going to just sleep tomorrow. And I was like, no, nigga, you said you were going to go do that, so let's go do it. I went out there. Bro, I started doing the rack pulls. I was like, wait, this kind of feel good. I felt so good, bro. Like, my confidence, my motivation came in. I was like, fuck yeah. Like, we actually got up. We didn't feel like it, but we still did that shit. And look, you feel me? Like, I don't know, man. But anyways, back to weed. But basically, moral of the story is, like, I'm just going to put weed down. And I'm going to log how I feel. I'm going to do, like, I was thinking if I'm going to do daily check-ins or weekly check-ins. I don't really know yet. But I just want to, like, you know, update y'all on how I feel and everything like that. It's not going to be too drastic because, like I said, I've put weed down before. It's not like a, well, it was at one point. But right now, it's not really like a, I need weed. So, I'm going to just tap in with y'all and let y'all know how I feel. Because, shit, maybe y'all want to do it too. Like, you know, give weed a break or whatever. Whatever you feel like doing, it's up to y'all. Because guess what? I'm going off of what my body needs and what my spirit and who I am and where I'm trying to grow, grow needs. So, this is all based on me. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm not telling you to, to stop smoking weed. You do what you want to do. If you feel it's necessary, do it. If not, it's your life. But yeah, I'm just documenting my life for y'all. But basically, I do still, however, want to smoke weed. I know. But, 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 what I really, 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 really want to do, hope the cops don't show up for me saying this, but I want to grow my own shit. Because I do feel like a lot of the weed, bro, out here is just very potent, like to the point where it's, it's too much for us. It doesn't really... It's not necessary for our bodies to be sm like smoking weed that's like 82% THC. Like, yeah, you get dummy high, but like, why are we that high? To where we can't remember what we did yesterday. Why are we that high? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I've I been that high and I'm just like, Christian, why do you need to be that high? Why? Like, like why? But anyways, um, I do want to grow my own shit. I feel like that would be the move, like to grow my organic Organ, organic marijuana because I feel like these people out here, these shops, all these motherfuckers, they don't give a fuck. They're just trying to sell weed in bulk and make money. The weed industry is like a billion dollar industry now. Anything that's a billion dollar industry, it's corrupt. Or well, at least in this generation, um, I can say that for sure. Like most people that are, you know, pushing billion dollar products and billion dollar company, like billion dollar companies, are just not for the people. They don't give a fuck about our health. So. I got y'all though. When I start pushing my organic marijuana, I'll shoot that shit. I'll shoot that shit. But yeah, that's what I'm honestly plotting on. And until then, I can wait. Um, I don't want to keep feeding my body this type of shit. Yeah. Or maybe shit. I don't know. We'll see how life goes. What if I find someone that so makes... Like, I need to find someone that, like, has an, a marijuana plant in their, their backyard and shit. I don't know. Some, like, real tapped-in shit. Fit. Some real tapped-in stuff. Not this, like, overly processed ass shit. But anyways... That was my rant on marijuana, life, everything in between. Um, right now, I think I'm about to go to like the canyons or some shit. Um, I'm about to go test drive a car. Well, it's my dad's car, you feel me? But technically, since it's his car, it's like kind of my car because he lets me drive it or something. But yeah, um, and hey, fuck, and all y'all niggas gonna be like, in the comments of the, the next video, watch, y'all gonna be like, that's not even your car, that's your dad's car. Why are you mad? Why you why are you mad though? Like you don't have to be mad. Like for me and my kids, nigga, when I come home, when I come home with a new whip, I'll be like, yo, Jimmy, I got the Bugatti. I just bought the Bugatti. Off the lot. 2026. 2026. And Jimmy, let's just pretend Jimmy is is 25. I'ma let Jimmy drive the shit. What? It's just a fucking vehicle. Do you know what I'm saying? That's like saying, oh, that's your parents' house, it's not your house. Nigga, I'm in here. Like, my parents, they are very generous to me. Um, they, like, treat me 
as though I am their child, when it comes to like material things, like if they got food, I got food. If my mom, you know what I'm saying, or my dad got some, they don't hesitate to let me have it. If my dad just bought some pillows, I'd stolen from him, he wasn't mad because if they're his pillows, they're our pillows. Do you know what I'm saying? Type vibe. So maybe if you stop hating on other motherfuckers, you could have shit too. I don't know who I'm mad at. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. But that's enough for this fucking video. Some hoes, 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 hoes. Jeffrey at the dark. I got soft, I got that hard. How many freaking bras can you fit in your apartment? She bouncing on my dick, she bouncing on my dick. It hard, damn. I cannot resist. I'm about to fuck.